The odds were stacked against Misty and Curtis Oglesby when they learned they were having twins. Their babies weren't just any twins, they were conjoined at the chest, and doctors gave the twins only a 5 to 25 percent chance of survival. When we found out we were having twins and that they were conjoined all on the same day at the same appointment. I was 20 weeks along. The scariest part of it was the unknown. At first, the couple shied away from publicity. They were overwhelmed. A team of specialists at Cincinnati Children's worked with them behind the scenes to calm their fears and come up with a plan to separate their babies. I felt like I was giving my world to them and we were not sure if we would get them back. I knew it was necessary, but it was very, very difficult. They were perfect. To me, they were perfect. You know, they were my sweet, precious little girls. And they were also medically complex. In addition to being conjoined, one of the twins, Sayla, had a heart defect. They had separate hearts and sets of lungs, but shared a liver. They were conjoined from the lower third of the chest all the way down to the umbilicus. In fact, they share a single umbilical cord. We chose to watch them very, very carefully to make sure that you know they, the babies continue to develop and grow while they were inside of Misty. When she was 31 weeks pregnant, Misty developed high blood pressure, so doctors delivered her babies by C-section. Over the next couple of months, the care team practiced separate simulations, expanded the twin skin tissue, and figured out the best surgical approach to allow them to function independently. Once we hit the operating room, things just happen, you know, like clockwork. Six hours later, Sayla and Shyla were no longer conjoined. They were two babies who needed proper care, feeding, and healing. Sayla had a few more medical issues than her sister, and the Oglebys came to think of Cincinnati Children's as their second home. Now that they're home in Indiana and doing well, they're starting to find a new normal. Mommy, Those are mommy's earrings. I'm still very hopeful that, you know, they will com continue to thrive. Curtis and Misty are doing an awesome job in caring for, for the, the babies. The family credits the medical staff for helping the twins reach new milestones. Now celebrating their second birthday, the girls are beginning to talk and toddle around the family's home. And no one is looking forward to the terrible twos more than their dad. You know, we always prayed and asked that they we get out of the hospital and they you know, get to be two years old and drive us nuts and that's coming true. So they're running around like chickens with their heads cut off. And, but now I just, you know, I just hope they grow up like a, any other kid and hope they can chase their dreams too and do what they want to do. I just want them to grow up and explore this world that's around them and live life to its fullest because they've been given the opportunity that we weren't sure that they would have. It's overwhelming when you find out that there's something wrong with your child. I think that there's always hope and no matter what the circumstances are in front of you, you can't give up hope.